So first we'll talk about uh, short-term safety uh, as it relates to AAV. So the theoretical identified safety concerns related to short-term safety of AAV are predominantly related to hepatotoxicity um, and uh, the risk of developing a capsid immune response. So the working hypothesis for a capsid immune response is that you have uh, AV vector particles that transduce uh, a cell. In our case, uh, we're, we're targeting hepatocytes. Again, you have your uh, episomal transgene. And then the actual um, uh, vector particles are, are clear within the cellular cytosol, and you can have a presentation of capsid peptides on the surface of MHC class one uh, molecules, which uh, can possibly trigger a, a cellular immune response uh, to the transduced cell. And if this occurs and is unmitigated, you can have clearance of your transduced cell uh, and therefore clearance of your uh, episomal uh, transgene. It's important to acknowledge in hemophilia that this uh, uh, capsid immune response thus far has not presented a major safety concern, but has posed limitations on efficacy. Unfortunately, at this point, we don't have a clear way to predict for an individual patient or for an individual uh, vector uh, whether or not this capsid immune response will develop and how responsive it may be to uh, immunosuppressive intervention. Um, and what this means for the individual patient is that this requires frequent lab monitoring, typically about twice a week for the first three months post vector. And what we monitor are factor activity, liver function studies, and in most cases, uh, interferon gamma LA spot assays. So this is a measure of, of peripheral bud uh, interferon gamma response to capsid peptides. It's important to acknowledge that some, uh, but not all AV vectors are responsive to steroids and immunosuppression intervention. So um, immunosuppression intervention has been effective at rescuing transgene expression in some, but not all trials. Um, and then just coming back to the actual um, uh, genome configuration of the expression cassette, um, and work that was really uh, quite recently published in blood uh, implicating vector C, potentially, you know, hypothesizing that vector CPG content may ultimately uh, be responsible for loss of expression. So the concept here is that uh, so-called CPG islands, are, when unmethylated, can stimulate an innate immune response um, that uh, theoretically could result in, in an inability to be uh, responsive to steroid or other immunosuppressive intervention to rescue transgene expression. And what this would suggest is that um, when designing, uh, this may have implications for future design, design of AV vectors uh, with the goal of minimizing CPG contents within the AV vectors. And then lastly, um, LFT observations have uh, been observed independent of a capsid immune response. And whether these are incidental findings or uh, demonstrate some other theoretical toxicity that we at this point don't understand is not clear. Um, and so this has been observed um, in isolated uh, setting of, of certain clinical trials, again, where there's been LFT elevations independent of a capsid immune response, uh, and the etiology of which I think will be important ultimately in trying to understand. Uh, so collectively, though, I think it's important to acknowledge that the short-term safety of, of AV vectors in hemophilia thus far has been excellent. So there's been no major safety concerns in the context of AV vectors for hemophilia. And I think this is important, particularly that there's been quite a range, 120-fold range of AV vectors that have been employed uh, successfully in, in clinical trials for hemophilia. Uh, 